how sweet it is. The St. Bonaventure women's basketball team is headed to the Sweet 16. The Bonnies defeated Maris 66 to 63 thanks to 22 points from Jessica Jenkins, an additional 13 from Doris Ortega. This link will take you to the NCAA highlights and here is the press conference. Any newcomers to the crowd, please uh, put your cell phones to mute or silent um, before we get started. Joined by uh, St. Bonaventure coach Jim Crowley. Uh, Bonnie's improved to 31-3 uh, and three on the season, 66-63 win. They'll advance to round the 16 where uh, my information is correct. They will meet uh, Notre Dame on Sunday about, uh, up here on the uh, stage. We have uh, sophomore uh, forward Doris Ortega and senior guard Jessica Jenkins. We'll take an opening comment first from Coach Crowley, and then we'll take questions for the student athletes. Uh, it was it was what we expected. Just a great, great basketball game. Uh, two teams battling uh, to keep playing. Uh, certainly a game of, of swings. Um, I give so much credit to, to Marist and uh, their execution and, and their two seniors just played so hard and so well. Um, we were very fortunate late in the game that you know my, my technical didn't cost us and that uh, we were able to have built enough of a lead because we didn't make a basket the last five minutes. Um, but again, we just kind of find a way to get it done. Uh, I thought we tightened up at the end, um, but our, with our offense, and we, we missed some shots we should have made, but I thought we did a great job defensively when we needed to, especially the last couple of possessions. Um, and, you know, we won 31 games, and we're going to the Sweet 16, so that's something that uh, I don't think anyone ever imagined this program was capable of, so I'm just so fortunate to, to have these players in our program who, who play their tail off and who believe in each other, and and just make some incredible things happen. We'll take questions now for the student athletes. Please identify yourself and your media outlet at least first time around. Give me more, it's Buffalo News. Um, Doris, can, can you talk a little bit about um, guys being very aggressive going uh, to the boards, and especially getting those offensive rebounds really late in the game, extending the possession when, when you guys really, really needed to take in care of the ball? Um, I was really just trying to be aggressive. Uh, coach told me in the beginning, at the beginning of the game that those are going to be open. I can crash the boards really hard because some of the players do ball watch. So that's exactly what I did. I just crashed, and I knew how important some of the possessions were. So I, it was just hustle flips. And um, I just knew I need to keep certain possessions alive to create shots for Jess, uh, other shooters on our team, and hopefully, and it did work, so I just kept going for it. Um, conscious, I just, basically, I was just trying to be aggressive. Jess, talk a little bit about the game that, uh, that you had after what Florida Gulf Coast did, and, and obviously the time that you guys really needed it. Yeah, I mean, Florida Gulf Coast did a great job defensively on me and today I think um, my teammates just did a really good job of finding me and setting even better screens and um, I feel like I read screens a little bit better today to get myself open than I did the other day so um, I mean it was just people setting screens and everything and um, just looking at to be aggressive from the start. I hate to ask you about a miss but we haven't <laughs> seen a free throw rim out in a long time. Um, yeah I actually thought it was down the whole time even when it was on the rim so um, yeah hopefully it won't happen again. Doris, obviously you guys did an awfully good job on the board. You're giving away a little bit of height. Um, was that really kind of second effort or positioning, or what, what happened on the boards for you guys? I think it was both just um, positioning and just, like I said before, just hustle. Um, certain shots, I can tell when it was going up where it, was, it would come off the rim. So with that, um, I just like basically located the ball and just went after it, and luckily it went in my favor. Doris, can, can you talk a little bit about when, I mean, just as hits pretty early in, in the game, is there a point that when you guys see shots go down for her, see her get some looks, that that helps the rest of the team? You, I mean, I don't know if you take an exhale a little bit, but, but does that give you guys a little bit of a lift? Will you see that kind of half she had the first half? 
Well, when Jess makes shots, it's always easier because she can be our bailout player. But it does rub off, as you said. It it gives us confidence to see, to see that when she's going hard and her shots are going in, and see just her momentum going, it, it lifts the whole team, lifts me up. I know it lifts the starters and people coming off the bench because if Jess is not making shots, then it's like, you know, people still have to step up. But like I said, it's easier when she does, and it definitely lifts up the team, myself, everybody on the bench, as I said. So that it just helps. For either one of you or both of you, um, I know your goal, primary goal is making the NCAA tournament. Did you ever imagine you'd be in the Sweet 16? Um, I mean, when we saw the draw, I feel like we thought that we um, matched up well with some of the teams, even though we knew they'd be just complete dog fights and both of our games have been. So, um, I mean, we really, this is just so much fun and we really don't want it to end. And now we're going to be going in with nothing to lose, which is different than these first two games. Jess, I know it was a, a offense defense situation the first end of the game for, for you, but how were you guys able to? I, I mean, you've done it both before. Is it experience to kind of pull out that 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 win? Where were the things you were able to, to do when it, it got really tight those last few minutes? Um, I mean, I think Coach mentioned it earlier that we kind of tightened up a little bit at the end and missed some shots that we normally make. But um, I think that's where our experience comes in. And um, I, I mean, the whole game, I just feel like we were really confident that we would win in the end. And um, so, I mean, even the offense, defense, substitutions and everything, everybody was really just ready to play when they got in. So I think that definitely helped everybody. When coach doesn't get technical very, very often, uh, what was, how, how did you guys uh, react to, to, to that? Because sometimes that can, that can spark a team too. Oh, I mean, I kind of thought that it would. I mean, that's kind of the way our team, we really feed off of his energy and, um, I mean, obviously we've never really seen him get a technical, at least since I've been here, I don't think. So um, we knew that, you know, he was kind of trying to get us going a little bit maybe. So hopefully that obviously worked out. Any more questions for the student athletes? Ladies, congratulations. You uh, can take your name plates if you'd like and go rejoin your teammates. Take questions now for Coach Crowley. Jim, you mentioned the technical. What what happened? You guys had just scored it almost. What, what, why, why did you get heat up? <clears throat> they hadn't reset the shot clock, and I was that was the point I was making. I wasn't complaining about a call at all. Um, I was just making them aware that they should know that, and they did not. Um, and I stepped on the court. And I had been warned to not be on the court. I didn't even know I was on the court. I was just trying to get their attention, and that was it. So, I mean, I, I was warned not to be on the court. I was on the court, stuck in flop. And I'm just so thankful that uh, you know my the kids bailed me out. Um, I, it, it was a, a blunder on my part, and uh, you know I haven't gotten one in I think about six years, um, and I don't expect to get another one for a long time. The rebounding stats, considering you're giving height away. Pretty impressive, especially on the offensive boards. Yeah, I, I really, if I had to pinpoint something that was key, because if you look across the stat line, everything's pretty even, except that number. Um, and, and I really, I thought we did a great job. And we, the, and it started, you know, the first possession of the second half, even though we didn't get a score, we, we kept the ball for about a minute and ten. And, and I thought the same thing happened uh, in the second, and later as the half went on. And I, I thought it really affected their shooting a little bit. They, they were coming up on some things short. That's where I thought we made our run to push ahead. Now, um, we couldn't defend them without fouling, which hurt us. Um, and they did a great job of, of executing their stuff to, do, to draw those fouls. But, um, you know, I, I really felt we did a pretty good job of, of making them work so hard through those rebounds that it, that it helped uh, us defend better. The one stat that it ended up pretty even at the end, but the one stat that stuck out was turnovers. They turned over quite a lot. Yeah, we just had bad feet. We we were ready. We were we were tight today. I mean, you know, we we started really well, and then I think every time we kind of got things going, we started thinking, oh my goodness, we could be going to the Sweet Sixteen, um, and, and tightened up a little bit. But uh, you know, Jason, our, our 
I said, you just told me we didn't have a turnover in the last 12 minutes. Um, and that's that's just the experience of kids knowing, um, you know, we're at least going to get the ball to the rim if, if nothing else. Jess had a great for a first half, she had a great game, great first half, but Doris came up big for you, Chelsea had some big three, CC had, had some key free throws. Can you talk about the, the way the underclassmen really kind of came up big for you? Yeah, game? and I, I thought, I mean, that's what we've done all year. You know, I thought Meg was really uh, pressing, and, and really then when she struggled, she just so badly wanted to do better um, that, that she she continued to struggle. But um, I thought she played really good defense late, but, you know, those kids are good players, and, and they know how to pick their spots. Uh, our run was really sparked by Chelsea making some plays. Um, you know, then CC hits those two free throws, which were you know huge, especially because we had missed two front ends. Um, and then Doris, the bigger the game, the better she is. I mean, there's it's just how she goes. Um, you know, in big games she makes plays, and when we were stalled there, and it kind of got we lost the lead. She had a great drive to the basket, and that just kind of got us going again. And, her effort on the glass, uh, you know, it was just, it was much needed and, and certainly was a big impact. Coach, I apologize if you answered this already, but what were you thinking when CeCe went to the line for that one-on-one? -on -one? You just brought it up there, but I watched you walk to the end of the court and you couldn't even watch her. No, I, I just, I, I felt our kids were tight. I mean, when Arm's a great free throw shooter too, and she had missed that front end. And, you know, prior to that, Jess had an open look at three. Meg had an open 15-footer. I mean, shots that we're really good at. Um, and, and I just, you know, I, I just felt that we were tightening up. And I actually was considering calling a timeout to just crack a joke or something to try and loosen them up. But the last minute I gave a look at CC's eyes and, and it looked like she was all set. And uh, thankfully she was. Uh, Jim, your honest, immediate reaction when you saw Jess's free throw come out. I can't say <laughs> the words that came into my head. Um, you know, but again, everybody was thinking it was going in. And that could have really hurt our defense, but it didn't. We locked right up. We forced them sideways. We didn't give them a clean look. So I'm exceptionally proud of that, that our kids were in, in a moment of, of absolute surprise to make it the PG version of what I was thinking. Uh, our kids defended, which is what's gotten us here. Did you consider fouling it? You talked about fouling the tennis. No, we don't practice that. So uh, we, we only do what we practice. We we play defense, and uh, at the worst, we'll go to overtime. I'll ask the same question I asked uh, Doris and Jess. Your goal is to make the tournament. You're in the Sweet 16. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I guess my English major isn't coming out to help me with a better adjective. But um, it, yeah, it's. I just was talking to Doris and Jess beforehand. I mean, there's 16 teams left, and we're one of them. I'm guessing you look, I don't know who won other games today or who won the late games, but you know, you got Gonzaga in there, who's, who's a well-known mid-major. Um, you know, we're the, we're the new kids to the party, and, and I, I couldn't be more proud of this group and the way they've earned it. Um, you know, we've been told we were undersized, we've been told we, we couldn't do it consistently with the way we play, we've been told a lot of things, but our kids are about action and, and not about words, and, and they did that again today. Any more questions for Coach Crowley? When you were running those 9 and 19s, <laughs> did you ever think about sitting up here in this kind of a circumstance? That is to say, the, have the program get where it is now, Jim? No. <laughs> I thought about survival. <laughs> um, you know, I thought about making sure that, that we just tried to do some things better. Um, you know, I remember when we. The, the first group um, of, and I guess I'm being reflective, so here you go. Um, the group of seniors that were seniors at the time, the Jess, Meg, Jenny, and I were freshmen, they said, we're going to get a banner. We're going to get a banner. And I thought, that's great. You guys are freshmen. You don't know any different. Wonderful. And then they got one. And, and they got that NIT. It was an amazing run. And when this group started saying, we're going to the tournament, we're going to the tournament, I just thought they've committed to it. If it doesn't happen, they've committed to it, and they'll know how that feels and, and, and be able to do that again in life sometime. And then we got here, and, and they instantly, it wasn't going to be enough. And I never uh, believed that we could get to this back in those days. 
but when we started to, to move forward and, and the level of kids we have in our program, their character and their their abilities and their trust and faith in one another and, and willingness to, to believe in each other, um, nothing surprises me. Was that for the long answer? Yeah, right. better cut me off. <laughs> Not you, <laughs> but, oh, <laughs> I'm okay with it too. I, 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 the Oscars. Yeah, please.